ways to fight the heart. Walk in the ways of your heart. That's what's happening now. You're walking in the ways of your heart. It's got y'all all over the place. You got a daughter, right? You wouldn't want your daughter doing this stuff, right? I wouldn't want my, I wouldn't want to. But she can't be saved like that. Saved from the wrath. See, listen. Uh, the, 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 sis, we already in hell. And that's the part that you don't even realize. The destruction that's coming is eternal damnation and fire. You know how the scout and hot water, when you get into the shower when it's too hot and you jump and you move, just, to, just imagine fire burning forever. Eternal damnation to where you can't get up out of it. Read. And in the sight of thine eyes. Like walking in your, in, and in the sight of your eyes. That's what people are doing. Everything that they see, they do it. Read. For know thou that, that for all these things, God will bring thee. <laughs> So when those 
those thoughts come, you got something to remind you how you're supposed to be. Instead of because all you got is what you're used to doing, what you used to doing gonna win. But that ain't what you want to win, is it? So this is why we going through the precept. Don't take it as we be. Look, we, we hear that. Now with making that choice, you gotta now move forward. So this is Isaiah chapter chapter three. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Isaiah 5 and 13. Check this out. The book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Therefore, my people are going in, into captivity. So God says his people went into captivity. That word captivity means what? Slavery, right? So now jump down to the very next verse. Therefore, hell hath enlarged her, herself. Then it says hell hath enlarged herself. So what happened to the people of God? They went into what? Hell, right? But what is the Bible calling hell? Captivity. Hell ain't some dungeon underneath the ground with a red man with a pitchfork. The red man is the European. He's the Bible calls him the devil. Because devil means deceiver. And he's deceived all of our people into thinking that the lives and the choices that they make it in this earth is okay. Now Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1 and verse 24. The book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness. So we so God says we his chosen people, right? And that we supposed to be above all people upon the face of the earth, right? Ain't that special? That's so we God's favorite children, right? So his favorite children, what happened to him? Read it again. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness. So that's like that's like that's like you give would you ever give your daughter up? So, but God says he gave his children up to uncleanness. Go ahead. Through the lust of their own hearts. Because we was lusting so hard, we wanted to live away so bad. He said, you know what, go on and do it then. But you know what we was left without? Protection. You've seen the slave movies, right? You probably, you probably seen some of it, but it probably got to a point to where you couldn't even watch it no more, could you? All of that happened to our great grandparents because they had this Bible before us and they chose to live the way that they wanted to live. Had they skin peeled, hung from trees, attacked and brutally mauled by slave owners' dogs. And then they abused the sisters. They even had some what they call buck breaking to where they would string the man up in front of his family and the slave owner would have sex with that man. And now how, if a man that's now been penetrated, is he even considered a man? No. Nah. They did that to our grandparents because they disobeyed. It says he gave them up. Because of the lust of their mind, they wanted to live like the rest of this world. So now they dead. So now who does this fall on? Us. So now what we gonna do in our life? Are we going to continue or are we going to make a different choice so that we can get this earth back? Go ahead. To dishonor their own bodies. To dishonor their own bodies. Homos in homosexuality, we dishonor our own bodies. You're a daughter of Israel. Do you know who? Don't distract her, brother. Do you understand? You know Timothy that we read, right? Who raised Timothy? His mother and his grandmother. So sisters had a responsibility of teaching the children. So all the prophets that we read about, who taught them? They mothers. Right? Mary, Christ's mother, what did God tell her? Thou art blessed and highly favored among women. Don't you want to be highly favored unto the Father? Then you got to be like, you know what, God, I give up. You know what, you right. And everything that I did that was against your word, it's, it's, it's a wrap. Never again. Not one more day, not one more thought. That's how you got to be because you want the Father to transform you into the daughter that he created you to be. You just forgot. You just got misled. You just followed the wrong crowd. Now the Father is trying to bring you right back in and say, you know what, what's your name? What's your name? Who? Charlena, I see you. And I'm ready to bring you back in. Just like, remember, he gave us up. 
It's like if you was an orphan, you would be looking for <laughs> You would eventually be searching for your mother or your father. I gotta find my birth parents. That's what people do. So now the father is trying to bring you back in as the daughter that he created you to be. All he's saying is, stop going after the world. Right. Stop doing what the world says okay and do what he says okay. Because what happened because of it, we got given up and we got put into a hell of a captivity. And it ain't over, is it? Now we gunned down in the street. Now sex trafficking is at an all time high. And what people you think they, ta they capture? Our sons and daughters. Our sons and daughters are being targeted. All because of disobedience. Now we want, now we feel God forsaken to where we don't even believe in God no more. But he exists. He like, you got to turn to me first. Go ahead. Between, between themselves. Go ahead. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. So now we got to stop changing the truth of God into a lie. The truth of God is talking about the laws, statutes, and commandments. And saying and feeling in our mind that they don't matter. Go ahead. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Homosexuality, lesbianism, being a drunkard, being a drug addict, all the sins you can name, we get those things from the creature. You know who the creature is? The white man. The so-called European, who the Bible called Esau, but they not white. They who deceived us to think that they white, but they actually red. Because we serve him and the state, and what did he say in uh, Maccabees 1? We consented unto his life and said we all want people. Now we do what he do. And actually we have exceeded the wickedness that he do. To where we worse than them. Now it started off with them killing us. Now we do what? We kill ourselves. They created Planned Parenthood to self to genocide us. Now we self-genocide each other. So we worse. All because we wanted to be like them. So they changed the natural use, which is against nature, which is to reproduce and bring forth more kings, queens, and princesses and princes into this world to govern the world, because that's why we're here. They supposed to be coming unto us to see what's acceptable. We, the world is supposed to be taught by us, not us into their school systems, and they put on us whatever they want. We supposed to be like, you know what, you gonna keep these commandments, or you ain't gonna be here. You ain't gonna be in existence. Right, and don't think that all men are bad because you had a bad man before. Experience. Because right. that's what led to that right or wrong. You got your feelings hurt. You know what I'm saying? You got your feelings hurt, but you only got your feelings hurt because, to be honest, you supposed to be... You're supposed to be in your virginity until your father or mother give you away in marriage and righteousness. And not we started out. So you probably would sit down. We started out dealing with fornication. Fornication is touching and feeling. Boyfriend and girlfriend, he's your boyfriend, wasn't he? Yeah. And he told you how cute you was and y'all was gonna be the my best friend since like fifth grade. That's how it was. Your best friend, but he had other intentions. See? You're supposed to let the scriptures guide you and tell you what a friend's supposed to do, how they're supposed to talk to you. That's, that's the game. And because of that bad experience, because you didn't know the scriptures, it caused you to change your whole walk of life. But now the most I said, come on back. Acknowledge what caused you to go off, which wasn't this. And now you got to mind the scriptures. Go ahead. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseen. So it was vice versa. It's brothers too, on the down low, and they gonna get the same correction, the same admonishment, the same guidance. Go ahead. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. You see that? So you want to be saved from the recompense. When something is meat, it says it's appropriate. 
So everybody that that cross, like the brother say, the gender barrier, the most high, it, the judgment is weight. We just don't see it coming. So you can deliver yourself from it just by turning up to the most high. Now get Psalms 101. And this is where it starts. Psalms chapter 1 verse 1. Psalms chapter 1 and verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So now you got to leave the counsel of the ungodly. You know what the counsel of the ungodly is? Television, radio, entertainment, friends. Christian church. The, yeah, the church that allow homosexuality to exist. They supposed to be correcting it just right. like we correct it. Because according to God, it ain't supposed to be. It says blessed. Or did it say cursed? It says blessed is who? The man. Or woman. Go ahead. That walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So when you leave it, you're going to be blessed. Go ahead. Nor standing in the way of sinners. And them friends that feel how you once felt, you can't stand in the way with them no more. You got to, they either going to humble themselves to the commandments. Oh, you got to separate, but you got to separate regardless because they only sent her to deceive you. Even if it's this young man standing here, because he's supposed to correct you. Man, instead of sitting there and laughing. He know about the Sabbath day. He's supposed to told you ain't supposed to be drinking on the Sabbath because you're supposed to be somewhere fellowship. So you got to come back to the commandments. And not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. I ain't saying hate him. Now you got to turn around and be on him. Go ahead. Nor sit it in the seat of the scorn. Nor sit it in the seat of scorn. You know what scorn, a scorner is? They somebody that don't want to be corrected. So you only got this far because you didn't want to be what? Corrected. Somebody you've been told. You ain't just heard this from us. Everywhere you went, you've been told. And you was like, I ain't trying to hurt you. What's wrong with that? See? The Most High has the ability to straight reveal your life unto you. Because you thought it was so secret. But it ain't secret, is it? Go ahead. But it's delight. Now your delight, the thing that you happy in, the thing that makes that you joy in, go ahead. Is in the law of the Lord. Now you got to delight in the law. Everything from... Genesis to Revelation, that's got to be your delight. That's what's got to make you happy. That's got to be the thing that you have joy. In the same way, you get home and you know mama finna cook your favorite food. Chicken and dumplings. See there? The same way you, you feel about them chicken and dumplings, you're going to smash it. Now you got to have that same love for the scripture. And when you correct it and you show, you got to be like, that's right. And that's what I'm going to do. And you can't buck up against it. Go ahead. And in his law will he meditate day and night. And then in the law, you got to meditate. You got to think about it. It's got to be on your mind day and night. Because what's going to happen now? You got the law, right? We read it in Leviticus. But does that mean the thought going to go away? It's going to continue to come. So now that law, when you meditate in it, it's going to be a defense. When the old associate show girl, what you doing? What you up to? Click. I ain't, I ain't talking, dealing with that. Right? That's what you gotta use. And you now get uh these guys to sell. Bible true. So then you got to believe that. 
So now let's get that in proper school. That's good. That's good. But in doing so, don't be offensive because because showing you we didn't offend you. This how I, this what I want to do. You no, know? you gotta get it out the scriptures. And if it ain't in the scriptures, you can't do it. You well, you gotta be careful. If it's not in the scriptures, then you gotta have a reverence of it because it can be destruction to you. Now jump back up to verse one. Verse one, my son, forget not my law. So Sheena, you can't forget the law. Go ahead. Well, let thine heart keep my commandments. Now you got to let your mind remember these things that you learned today. Go ahead. For length of days. Why? Why can't you forget the commandments? Read it again, verse 2. For length of days. Why can't you forget the commandments? Read it again. Proverbs 3 and 2. For length of days. For what? It says length of days. Go ahead. And long life. And long life. Right? When our brothers and sisters come up with these diseases that they can't get rid of, life don't seem like life. But that long life, it also goes into the kingdom of heaven, right? Don't you want to live forever in paradise? Not in East St. Louis, in paradise, right? Now, now check this out. This should, this should be more important to you than yourself. Check this out. The book of Hosea. You say you got a daughter, right? Check this out. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God says we get destroyed because we lack the knowledge of the commandments. Go ahead. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So God says because we hate the Bible, he hate us and he reject us. That's why we get without help. That's why we fall into mayhem, death, and destruction. Go ahead. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Meaning we don't have the spirit to reteach the things that he taught us. Go ahead. Saying thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. It says since we forgot the laws of our God. Check this out. Listen very close. I will also. God says he's also going to what? Forget thy children. If you don't keep the commandments, God says he's going to forget your God. So if you don't do right, the most I say he's going to forget her. She gonna be she could she could be destroyed as a result in the streets. Yeah. And you and you uh, you would hate yourself for it. you would feel responsible because we are responsible. So then you gotta keep the commandments so that you can teach her. And then y'all reign Lord's will live together. So it's very important. We we don't just live for ourselves. We live for our families and for our nation. That's why we're here. We only here for the nation. We ain't here. We was never here to be caught up with the traps and snares and the evil inventions that Satan would create. We was here to raise up our people. Don't you want to be part of that? So then the way you get there is by keeping the commandments. Get a flyer. Reach out. Come learn more. Come and help and learn what you should even be teaching your daughter. Because it shows like boyfriend and girlfriend. You can't be afraid. You gotta face that. And you gotta use the scriptures. Don't, don't be afraid. You got the scriptures is the, the power of the most high. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're dealing with. You know, what's up, sis? How you doing? We out here, we got to teach the commandments. That's 
Drop something. Sorry for sin. So with that, we say sorry. So wrong. 